you wanna live it, it's so simple. Oh, tell me why do we cry when our loved ones die? I can tell you why, hurt so bad inside, baby, it's so simple. Friends of Eternity, a special gathering with Supreme Master Ching Hai and cherished artists, part 11. Please continue watching to find out more. Today's program will be presented in Ewe and English with subtitles in Arabic. Alaskis, also known as Vietnamese, Chinese, English, French, German, Hindi, Indonesian, Korean, Mongolian, Persian, Portuguese, Russian, Spanish, and Thai. Medok Benami, Ntifafanu Polao, Nkonyenye Koku Kubuyajo. Na vi lon lon ocho togo, o glo mi ape do wo wo o, e ye o do a gwe da be ma wo ne yirami, le inti fa fa kwa kule do do re di ma. Le ape lon lon de to, kwa kule vi vi do do re ki ke go e ni ape a lon o do o to on ti la. Po gbo mo nou fya la gan, ti in ha e. Bolo na ape en ti mo gbe re ka, be ye be di di ve vi e to, si nyon le yi mo koko la e nye be, ya po mi ape klon, Alors nous dors là-haut. Si vous m'y avez fait un bobo, tout en me nouvelle, ou en dors pas que vous voyez là. Listen, why don't we organize like a gathering in October, ok? Beginning October, more or less, ok? The first week, you can write to them, one by one. You know all the artists over these years, and tell them we invite them. Just for a gathering, friends, friends gathering. I would love that. Many years I thought about that, but I had never had a chance to really have time to think about it. So these recent days, I have more retreat time, so I say we must do something. It's because I love them. You know all the reason. <laughs> they don't need to perform anything for me. If they want, they can do it. Make all day for them. All the SMTV from the whole world can come here. Maybe you can also organize that day together they can come. So we are also artists, you know, the SNTV people are also artists, yeah? Supreme Master Tien Hai, Tien Keke Sidi Gododo Tokhe Si Ava Mele, Chot De Bubu, Ame Yenu Gbiyade Fe Nkuro Di Zandi, Ame Siyenye Ame Kokwe Si Oyona Be Tai Chuhwa, Ame Siyenye Bobo Manu Fya La Gan Fe Nusrovi, si cho do kibli bo le nou sa sron kwa kule da wato a konka le gbogbo mo nou fya la gan fe didi fe nou po mo adi e ye ga wou la e wato sou gona mi a fe ha bobo a fe ha didi wana a wou mto ke chou fe gle ti e wou li a fe nke ke gban to a di la alon nou da wato bla ve vwa a seke kwa kule wou fwa me kwe kwe wou Si vous êtes en Amérique, vous avez besoin de vous. Vous avez besoin de vous dire que vous avez besoin de Taïwan. Alors, vous avez besoin de vous dire que 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 Cho wo pe lon lon di di nyo, kwa kwa le akba le cho di di fo do da. Le go do do a me, nya fe ha bo bo me vi o, akpe te fe akpe o, va be yo akpo nu te fe, nan lon lon fe kado do va van, si le bo bo me nu fya la ganti in ha e. Kwa kwa le ame dro be vi a o me, el abe na ame sou bo le o do me, de bu bu, mon nou koko si an ti, te do me nyo fe fe o, Pak kule nu popo de to pe wana o man.
please take this message home. Use your voice to speak up for the animals. Never be silent. I thank you, Supreme Master Xinghai, so much for giving me the opportunity to learn, to live, and to love. Our mission is the same mission of Supreme Master. We want a vegan world. Amenu penu onyenami bemi ade kono ma vonko wona o fiami. Gududu toke sivama le bogomonu fi ala ganting hai. Pa kula alonu do o to to o do pa yo velia. Yeah, yeah, right. When you get something in your head, write it. Oh, when you see something you love, you know you got to love it. It's as simple as that. When you love the one you're with, you got to tell her. When you know how to give to a child, give it, ooh, just live it now. It's so simple. Why do we waste so much time? It's so simple. And the kids on the streets, you've got to give it. There's no limit. If it hurts inside, let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. It's so simple. We can keep the stream alive. Just to get to die, it's so simple. Oh. Yeah, when you wanna give, when you wanna live, yeah, yeah. Tell me why do we cry when the love wants to die? I can tell you why, cause I'm bad inside, baby. So simple.
I just know there's a child that's cold gonna die Nobody knows why, nobody cares It's so simple, oh Why do we waste so much, so much time? It's so simple, oh I'm not telling you, telling you, telling it's you so a simple. lie Oh, we can give when we want and when we want to live. Ah, so uh, uh, tell me why do we cry? Love won't stop. I can tell you why. What's a bad sign? It's so simple. Oh, you can get it, but you can live it. It's so simple. Say, come on, but you can give when you want to live. It's so simple We can give when we want to win We want to live uh, uh. Tell me why do we cry when our loved ones die I can tell you why, let me tell you why baby. It's so simple You can give it It's so simple Come on everybody, you can sing it we give when we want to live now. It's so simple. It's so, it's so, it's so simple. Thank you. Wow. Thank you so much. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. We love you. Thank wow. you. We love you. God bless you. God bless you all. Wow. How can you sing like that? Can you? No. <laughs> he sing like Kung Fu. <laughs> oh, so strong. Wow. Thank you so much, Corey Feldman, and your beautiful wife. Let's have another round of applause. Very convincing. Ooh. Very simple. Ah. <laughs> Next, she is an international award-winning author, producer, playwright, and librettist who co-wrote the story for Loving the Silent Tears, the musical. She will share with us a short story called The Man in the Fire from her novel Rattler in the Ivy. Let's give a warm welcome to Cynthia Farrell. I am absolutely thrilled to be here today. Um, it is such an honor. And um, in particular, because I've been working on a new short story that I believe illustrates your plea, Supreme Master, to wake up and move faster to save our animals, our planet, and ourselves. Right? And before I get into that, I'd like to say, particularly yesterday, how bizarre it was for me to be in a place where free water was falling from the sky. And such a lot of water falling from the sky. Because I live in fire country. Oh. We don't have green mountains. We have red ones. Wow. We have spectacular hiking trails and rattlesnakes <laughs> and howling coyotes and horses. And this time of year in particular is dangerous. Anyone who comes from my part of the country knows it. The air is so dry, your skin hurts. Wow. There were always fires growing up, but when I was young, there was also rain. Somewhere in the 1990s, rain kind of petered out, and the fires began to burn faster. Oh, wow. They began to burn at 50 miles per hour, faster than anyone could run. Wow. And last year, they burned at 70 
miles per hour, faster than people who lived in our hills could drive. Oh. Why do we wait so long when disaster is on us? Why do we stand transfixed? What does it take to wake us up? What moment makes us as adults move? That's what this story explores. Uh, just as I was leaving to come here, the famous activist playwright, Donald Freed, called me up. He said that this story had won his 2019 International Writers Top Prize for Best New Work. So, thank you. I'm thrilled to be here and I'm thrilled about that too. So with that, let me tell you a story about the man and the fire. Five o'clock in the evening at Sherwood Equestrian Stables, one year and one month ago. Oh. Oh, the horse, it's a gelding plunges out of the darkness. His gray hide is first ghostly, then luminous as a pearl against the barn's smoky black doorway. Fire glare reflects off his retinas and turns his eyes into tiki torch flames pasted on the sides of his skull. He must weigh in at a ton and a half, and he rears and he screams, his halter rope caught on something I can't see. Below him, a tiny spotted dog, a collie, whirls between his hooves, frantic, barking, trying to drive the horse where the rope won't let him go. Two stable workers, two stable hands, crazed and helpless, stumble backwards into me, their canvas jackets flapping on the heated draft, and one shouts, the stalls, they're burning as fast as gasoline. The collie moves with the opposite instinct. She weighs no more than 30 pounds. One kick will kill her, but she won't back away. She stays where she is, hassling the horse to run, run. And the gelding jerks his head and slices at her with his steel shoes and the rope stays taunt and their thrashing stirs up a blizzard of golden chaff from the stable floor. From deeper inside the wooden building, other animals shriek, and crashing blows hit a wall from inside. Boards splinter off, and a schoolboy, his back muscles straining, drags a young donkey out by its neck and forces it into an outside corral. The stable hands run for the splintered hole, but pull up short at a series of sharp bangs, like a string of firecracker explosions. That's the supply closet, the boy cries, the liniment closet. And no amount of water will save one thing. Oh. And exactly then, as if fire hears my thought, the whole upper half of the barn billows yellow, and below it, the entryway changes from smoky black to brilliant orange. And inside, the animal shrieks fade away as the roof line starts to crumble and the firecracker sounds grow loud as thunder. They're goners, a stable worker rasps, inside, 
they're all gone. In the entry, alone against the glare, the dog and the horse battle on. Silhouettes now, the gelding rearing and striking, and the dog his tormentor who darts with bared teeth, and above them the rafters fully engulf. As the upper loft buckles, the collie levitates impossibly high and bites the gelding's shoulder and falls back. The horse swings around, flashes its back hooves, catches the little dog in her ribs and kicks her deep into the burning barn. I see the entry dissolve. The gelding plunges right and left, screaming, jerking his head, his torch eyes rolling. And then, a slip of a shadow, the collie, come creeping back. She circles, slow and limping, and stops. And for an instant, she squints out at me through a curtain of burning feed. Save yourself. Hear me as the fire did. But instead, she turns her head toward all the inside animals now silenced. Then she gathers her legs, jumps for the halter rope, misses, leaps, catches at an angle, and rips the rope free. And suddenly loose, the gelding turns to run her down, to bolt back into the barn, but the dog reads the move and bounds faster and sinks her teeth into the gray muzzle, is flung off, is back, attacks again with a final ferocity that chases the horse out into the twilight. The collie becomes a shooting star that flies toward me and falls to the dirt a tiny bundle of scorched meat with broken rib cage and tired eyes. The barn and seven animals she could not rescue, gone start to finish in under eight minutes. I don't know if I can save her. I don't know if I can save myself, and she cries out when I touch her, but I have her up, and she is in my arms, and I am finally running. Oh. Thank you. Wow, that was exceptional. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> you deserve more than just an award. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you so much. I'm going to call now. Oh. So, uh, wrap this around. Sorry, they don't find anything other than this. It's warm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What an amazing story. Let's thank Cynthia Ferrell with another enthusiastic round of applause. Nupola Dipa Chutowe, Nye Kafu Miyapa Mokbono Noe Gbia, Le Kuloma Vo, Gododo toche kule gbogbo monu fi atogan tin rai pa kule alonu do woto loloto apaye de kelia mi de kuku mi po apaye velia afisi emi award winning fenu tata popo wola Lionel Frivel ama fo susu klemi eye Italia to fe gbe vidi lagan Georgia Fumanti nana mi hagbe ade simi manglo be apo o esi amagbe 
ni apo la wonukunu o lonlon to jojo unti na mi ese ni ajojo kwasi o voko ke di fu amonu venu ne yo mi apo di pele lonlon adanu dede pa pele di jo kind hearted viewers we appreciate your company today for our friends of eternity a special gathering with Supreme Master Ching Hai and Cherished Artist Part 11. Please tune in for Part 12, where the Emmy Award winning filmmaker Lionel Friedberg will share his insights with us, and the renowned Italian soprano Giorgia Fumanti will render unforgettable performances. Up next is Animal Heroes. Love Beyond Species, right after Notes Worthy News. May celestial grace fill your heart with love, inspiration, and bliss. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash AJAR.